Solitude is the birthplace of selfless presence. I want you to consider with me for a minute the opportunity that lies before you. The invitation, the doorway, the portal, if you will, that you have the opportunity to walk through, step into a new world. That is this place of solitude. Right now our government's calling it social distancing, quarantine. You have the opportunity right now to step into a place of solitude. Solitude doesn't mean that you don't have to speak to people. It means you're stepping within your own nature into the true self to begin to learn what pure awareness is apart from your perceptual consciousness. This is uh, such a magnificent place to experience and to be. I will warn you as you step through that portal, it, you might feel like Dorothy stumbling, tumbling down the rabbit hole. But listen, here's the deal. I want you guys, each one of you, to take advantage of this time. Each one of you should be taking advantage of the time to be able to practice sitting meditation, true says in. And learning how to observe the thoughts without judgment. Being able to see those thoughts and observe them. I need each one of you to recognize right now you are not trying to clear your mind or stop your thinking. The more you try to stop the thinking or resist your thoughts, the greater those thoughts become the stronger those thoughts become. You see, the thing you resist, you empower. So under no circumstances should you resist. And I need you to realize that only the thing you judge you will resist. Your thoughts aren't bad. Your thoughts aren't the problem. Just see them. Just observe them. And so we have this beautiful opportunity here, as we are, a lot of us, maybe not me, but a lot of us are practicing this social distancing or staying home. Millions and millions of people all across the country, and maybe it's you right now, staying at home, even around the world, staying at home. And you have this beautiful chance, this beautiful opportunity lies before you to begin to really sink into your inner self. And so if the choice lies before you to watch Netflix, binge on Netflix all day, or step into your truest self, the selfless self, begin to step into a life of presence, of intimacy, of beauty, of mindfulness. Which one will you pick? Which one will you choose? I hope you will choose you. I hope you choose the life of presence over a life of entertainment. I just want to encourage you right now to take advantage of this time it truly is a gift. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Until next time, namaste.